So I personally have been waiting for this movie. I completely dislike the 2016 version of Ghostbusters. Apologize about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I completely dislike the 2016 version of Ghostbusters. Um, I'm not a fan of it. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not a fan of it. I just didn't care for that movie. Uh, I'm trying to reboot it the way they went about rebooting. I'm not going to I'm not going to um, hate on the actors. And I'm not going to hate on the uh, film too much. But I think it's the way that they went about trying to reboot the franchise uh, that I personally did not like. So, you know, I'm I'm just trying to stay away from anything negative with with Ghostbusters Afterlife, but this article came up on my feed and I clicked on it and I started to read it and here it starts like this and and, and this is <laughs> this is just ridiculous for the headline Ghostbusters Afterlife Review a slimy stinking corpse of a sequel Jason Rit Rittman 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 takes over his father's franchise and immediately tanks it with a tonally misjudged blend of pandering fan service and bizarrely played straight spectacle and bizarrely played straight spectacle so what does that mean exactly i mean pandering fan service it's literally what the what it says pandering fan service when you want to pander to the fans bizarrely played straight spectacle what does that even mean what does that even mean at all i don't even understand that somebody please explain what that even means i don't know i don't know is it because the movie's not woke is the movie just not playing to the uh political climate of today but pandering fan service listen this is this is a movie that i think a lot of the fans are excited for i saw the, the when i first saw the trailer i got extremely excited because i was like they're continuing from where the other one left off and i think based on what i've seen from the trailers that this is going to be a good movie unless it's completely hiding the wokeness you know and it's not being shown on the trailers i don't know i won't know until i go see the movie but like i said i just I, to be honest with you this article made me want to go see the movie even more uh and i'm i want to find uh let's see every time another anti and let me highlight this Every time another anti-spectacle doohickey first appeared on a screen, it was met with orgasmic roars of excitement from the audience. Same goes for the awestruck, awestruck glimpse of the old car, the old costumes, some of the old dialogue and the rest of the Myriad's nods to Ivan Rittman's canonized blockbusters. His son, Jason, the director who announced a desire to see his installment launched a whole universe of Ghostbuster content during the pre-screening panel aspires to little more than the dead dead rat pools lever pleasure recognition dude who is this who is who 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 wrote this article is this who write who wrote this article charles from from nesco are you butthurt that this movie's completely undoing the 2016 version I mean, is that is that what it is? Is that what it is? Are you butt hurt that this movie? I mean, seriously, are you hurt? Does it? it oh, gosh, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, let, let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, his approach, banks to sycophancy, proved reliable in real time at the Javits Center. Javits Center. That the automatic delight of knowing what things are will supersede the need, humor, or smart-ass charm that initially made Ghostbusters worth watching. At the box office, this underhanded track 
may very well pay dividends. This is for the fans after all, but a particular breed of fan more interested in identifying objects than what's done with them. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, geez. The, uh, anyways, and I'm going to I'm going to skip down a little bit because he just kind of keeps going on and he goes on here. It's pandering all the way down to the shocking part being the variety of Ritman's Ritman's ploys. It's not all groaners like cops offering a jailed for the night Trevor phone and asking who are you going to call. There's the set piece with courtesy the puff, uh, the stay puff, the mini stay puff cra scratching the itch for cloying the mischief markers planted by the minions. Consider all the casual cowardice of the script that uses its own mythology to subtly erase 2016's All Gals reboot from the canon, giving the rage caught trolls carpet bombing IMDb with zero stars rating the vindication they've always craved. I mean, I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say, the 2016 film sucked. I'm not trying to say that it sucked because it was an all gals reboot, like you say here, the 2016 erased the 2016 all gals reboot. I'm not saying that it sucked because it was an all gals reboot. I'm saying it sucked because the story and the way that the movie handled itself sucked. The way that it was directed, the freaking jokes that were in it were just bad. And it just seemed like you guys, the, the 20, not soon say you guys, it seemed like Hollywood just put out a movie with an all female cast just to put a movie with an all female cast to undo the patriarchy. I mean, what does it freaking matter? Look, I'm sorry to say this movie has a fan base and that's the fan base that you want to see your movie. Just because you want to go down and, and, and undo the patriarchy or make uh, an all-female cast movie, there's been plenty of all-female cast movies out there that have been good. It's just that I'm sorry, most females don't go watch these movies. And it's not to say that it's because men are perverted so they can't, you know, they didn't like the cast of the movie. No, it's the movie suck. The 2016 movie sucked. I'm sorry for the actors and actresses in that movie. And I'm sorry, I don't even know. Can I even say actresses anymore? I'm sorry for the actors of that movie, but it was a bad movie. It just was. It was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is. It is what it is. It's a very bad movie. At the end of the day, you want to make a movie that the fans want to watch. And the way that movie was promoted and the way that movie that even the actors that were in that movie, actresses, actors, I don't know. But even the way that they were going about that movie and the way that it was promoted, it was just bad. It was gonna, it was doomed to, to fail from the very beginning. You're gonna reboot a very beloved franchise from the 80s that, and, 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 and completely un, try to undo everything that the, the movie did. Now, is this movie probably for nostalgic reasonings? Yeah, most of the people who are gonna go see this are gonna be in the late 30s, mid to late 30s, if not older. I don't, I don't think any, I don't think any 20 year old, unless they grew up watching Ghostbusters, you know, cause I, I grew up watching Ghostbusters, the, the real Ghostbusters cartoon too. You know what I mean? So I don't think any 20 year old that's gonna go watch this movie is going to know uh, the full nostalgic purpose of this movie. So if you want to, you want your movie to succeed, you want to know its audience and you want to know its target audience and its target audience is most likely going to be the thirties and up, you know, people who are in their thirties or uh, and up and hopefully bring in some people in their twenties. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. The movie needs to be for the fans. And I've heard from the people who love Ghostbusters and the people that I've talk to on a daily basis they want to see this movie because they're all fans of the original movies 
it is what it is i know people don't like ghostbusters 2 that much they say it wasn't the best one and it's kind of true it wasn't the best one but you couldn't really undo the ori uh, outdo the original or could you either way it's still a beloved franchise it's still a beloved franchise i wish that they would come out with nice new cartoons uh so my daughter can watch it but at the end of the day look i'm gonna leave it there because this is ridiculous whoever wrote this which i i, I want to say it's this person here charles Br Br bromesco if i'm if i'm wrong correct me let me know in the chat but if he wrote this he's just or he she they them whoever right they're just butthurt that they that people didn't like the 2016 version that's all it is this article guarantees that i will go watch this movie on opening weekend at the theaters just this article alone i don't care anything else this article alone uh guarantees that i'm gonna watch this on opening weekend if you're gonna watch this on opening weekend let me know in the chat all right, let's move on from here uh, to something else that I also that I covered last week because I there's more information that's come out and I need to touch up on it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below. If you want to chat about any of these topics or any others, consider joining my live stream during my one hour pre gaming news recap. I'm Eric the Inadequate. And until next time.